over three decades ago, uh, God used a man, a uh, Texas cable television owner, Bob Buford, um, used him to be able to catalyze what was uh, uh, ministries around the globe. Second, uh, I believe to, to just about any other kingdom virtually in our modern age, Ed Stetzer said that Bob Buford had an impact in the kingdom that is, is second to few people, known probably in the top 10 people in all of America. Um, the man had a huge impact on my life, his work life and ministry. I sit here in this moment actually in a studio that, um, that, uh, that Rick Warren uses to help put together a vision for that he produces so much of his video curriculum, his ministry, his life work, and the enterprises and entities that God has done in through Rick's life right here uh, in, his, in, his, uh, in his backyard. But yesterday I was in Chicago. Um, I was in South Barrington, Illinois at what was this year's Leadership Summit. Uh, there was 9,000 people um, in this year's Leadership Summit locally and they're said to be, uh, Bill was saying there could be a, over uh, 400,000 people at this year's summit. It's had a 30% growth rate just in this last year alone. Well, the, the heart, life, work, and ministry of Bill Hybels had uh, incredible uh, impact starting what was uh, Willow Creek Community Church. But at one point in time, he thought about wanting to multiply the, the, the impact of the ministry to plant other seeker-style churches. That's where I ran into Bill Hybels. Had the privilege of going there for what was um, uh, almost a decade to serve and champion small groups and leadership development, et cetera, at his place. Um, but Bill was funded uh, for that uh, through a ministry uh, gift from Bob Buford. You back up with Bob Buford and see so many other people that he had critical or catalytic roles in their life and ministry. It was with, um, with Rick Warren when he was discovering um, Purpose Driven and doing the Healthy Church Ministry. And uh, Bob funded what was an investment to take a conference for the first time all around the country uh, with a $5,000 gift to, to go to each of the major cities. They went to 10 major cities. And uh, what God did on that trip was get to refine the word purpose-driven church conference, thus purpose-driven life, et cetera. Bob Buford and the band of, of, uh, of men and women that started Leadership Network have had an ministry this far and wide second a few things. Uh, his focus and heart and commitment to leadership, i.e. Leadership Network, but Bob Inc. that he started and what was the Burning Bush Foundation and so many other enterprises. I was with Todd Wilson here recently at the Exponential Conference. He talked about how Bob was a seed in the idea and even wanting to help make it happen. Um, I was able to go to that conference and interview 180 different church leaders that gave their, um, their honor and respect and, and love on to Bob. Um, down below, you'll see some examples of some of those folks from Larry Osborne, Louis Giglio, and Ed Stetzer, and 180 of the leading men and women in, uh, in Christianity, Francis Chan, et cetera. Um, but the man has had a tremendous impact on me. I met Bill Hybels along the way, and um, he invited me to come out and do this secret targeted church. And one thing led to another. While I was on staff there, I had a great run, going from 23 groups to 1,200 groups that we were able to see launched at uh, Willow Creek and 12,000 people connected. That led the opportunity to come to Saddleback Church where I was able to uh, come up with an idea with Rick to, to create video-driven curriculum and uh, that ultimately was a seed to uh, 40 Days of Purpose and the 40 Days of Purpose campaign. I got a chance to coach the 29 churches that ended up having uh, 29,000 churches that did 40 days. It was just such an unbelievable run. The catalytic spark of Bob Buford was amazing. But being at the Leadership Summit, to imagine um, the impact and influence that uh, his life, work, and ministry has had has been second to few things. I thought I'd give you a couple of examples uh, down below in this video to be able to see some of the men and women whose lives have been touched by the work of Leadership Network uh, started by Bob Buford. Take a look. <laughs> 